looking into the property. Uh, there's not that much snow on the ground, but we partially wanted to see how long it's going to take. It's really slick. Yeah, it's pretty slick. Um, we brought some sand in case we decided to drive up. But it's a nice day out. Temperatures in the high 30s, so it's not too cold. And we wanted to get a better look at the, the road in general. So um, we're not doing any work today. It's just going to be a nice, nice walk. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can find any chaga on any of the birches. There's a lot of birches here um, in some spots, and uh, just gonna have a nice, nice hike into the woods. So evidently somebody plowed the beginning part of the road. The first half a mile is plowed by the town um, pretty regularly up until where we parked. And then um, this part is obviously plowed by somebody. So there's probably about three quarters of a mile here. Last time we drove up was plowed. Um, yeah, so about another three quarters of a mile after that usually isn't plowed uh, to our property. So. We'll see, we'll see what we see and see how far this is plowed. Um, this is a good opportunity to just walk up and like I mentioned before, not get stuck, <laughs> not have the danger of getting stuck. It's a pretty narrow road. So if you reach a part where you can't go any further, it's a little hard to turn around. It's not like you, yes, yeah, <laughs> that's no fun. And it's not like you can just turn around anywhere. So um, yeah, we're gonna see exactly how far it's plowed. One of our plans is we're going to get a snowmobile too, or a quad or something that can, if we need to get out expeditiously and we don't have the truck all the way down at the property, we can just use that. I don't think it's an if, it's when. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a when. It's a when. Normally we don't mind walking, but you know, if there's an emergency or something like that. See, it's nice to be able to take advantage of machinery like that. Ooh. So we found some chaga, a um, couple of conks here, and uh, we're going to see if we can get them. Um, if you don't know what chaga is, it's a, it's a fungus that grows on primarily birches, but also poplars, and um, it kills the tree eventually. So uh, we're going to help the tree here by removing what we can see, but it's a, it's a fungus that can be used for a highly medicinal tea. Um, so we will cut some off. We know where it went. So we harvested a little bit of chaga from a, a birch that we found, um, not even five minutes into the walk. Yeah, a lot of it, couldn't even get all of it. Yeah, we couldn't, we got a small Ziploc bag that our fire starter stuff was in our was in in our backpack um, but we just took that out and put it in the bag because um, and the fire start is not likely to get wet today so um, we use the bag for chaga and now we have some chaga we have a small bag like I said and there were still two conks left that we couldn't harvest so um, save those for a different day likely there's a lot more here too I think they say it grows one in, one in, 10 one in 50 I think one in 50 trees or something like that Sometimes it's way too high to harvest. Um, yeah, we've tried it. <laughs> yeah, we've had, there was one, it was like 15 feet up in a tree and we couldn't get it, so. After many tries of shoulders. And yeah, and now, <laughs> now actually being able to harvest it, we realize even if we could have reached it with a stick or something, we wouldn't have been able to knock it off. Cause you need a, as you can see, you needed a hatchet to get it off. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you live and you learn. So here's where the plowing stops. There's not that much snow, maybe eight inches, but better safe than sorry, especially when we live an hour and 45 minutes away. And if we get stuck out here and slide off the side of the road, uh, we don't have service, so 
just better safe than sorry. There's a lake, a pretty big lake, or pond I should say, down that way. Um, and folks have some seasonal camps down there, so I wouldn't doubt if people ice fish or something like that, so they try to keep it open. Um, and you can tell there's been something coming down here. It looks like there's snowmobile tracks, which is what this is, right here. Um, it looks like there's tire tracks too, so I doubt there's anybody here, but we'll see. So right about here is the top of that hill where last video we were worried about. So um, as you can see, you might be able to see it past. Right here is a pretty good little view. So we're at, we're at the top of a hill right here. And um, so no trucks have come past here, which is cool. Only one or two snowmobiles, it looks like, not many. Um, this, is a, this is a class four road, which we've talked about it before. It means it's unmaintained by the town. Some people with dirt bikes or ATVs or, or um, recreational vehicles come down this, which is kind of cool. Um, we don't mind that. Oh, yeah. Looks like a little couple footprints. So, um, yeah, it's, it's nice back here. It's, it's all woods. Um, no development, no nothing. That's why we like it so much, because we feel like we're away from it all. Yeah. So this is, this is the road down to our place. Um, it's maybe a quarter of a mile down to the the house site and this is the other road that goes to the, the lake pond um, there's only two roads off of this road and they're both very private dirt roads um, as you can lives see on them. it says private right there yeah nobody lives on them they're all uh, seasonal camps uh, like like small little one acre plots um, so nobody's come down here this snowmobile tracks have gone down there there's not even any footprints down here so it's pretty snow cool snow is a lot deeper <laughs> like I said probably about eight inches of snow. Not too much, but anything deeper will probably need some snowshoes. So we made it to the land. We just took a little stroll, found some new areas. Spring's still going, but what we think is a spring. Right, yeah, the water's not frozen. It's high 30s today, probably like 36, 37 right now. But it's been pretty cold the last couple of days, at least at least freezing temperature. So they might, you know, it's probably it's probably a spring. We suspect that it's a spring, but due to the fact that it's not frozen, it's probably the spring. Mm -hmm. Or after trees are live, um, uh, we put made sure we put some kind of garter around it and it's hanging in there, which is great. Yeah, our persimmon is alive too. Um, we can't see all the rest of our seedling trees for the nursery because they're all small. So yeah, right here is the house site. Um, the sun is right behind those hemlocks. And there's some hemlocks and spruces right here. Um, so we're probably going to take a couple of those down. We might use them for milling or something, like building something. Um, but just so we can get some more southern exposure here um, because that'll definitely cut down on our heating costs. It's going to be a pretty small cabin anyway, um, so it'll be pretty tight and we shouldn't need to burn a bunch of wood. But They left a lot of firewood here. There's definitely firewood. a lot of firewood. Down, down there, down that way, there's like a bunch of... Hardwood that just left laying down, not even standing alive. You know, it, they just they killed them for no reason. Um, other than to get by to get to the more valuable trees. Um, that's pretty, it's just sad. Right in that opening right there, that's lowlands. So that's all pond, um, beaver pond, kind of where we went last year, but uh, last last video, I mean, sorry. Um, but we went, we went this way to get to the beaver pond. So 
the beaver pond and, and the, the whole marshy um, swampy area I think takes up about two acres down here uh, which is pretty cool in the winter we'll probably be able to walk on some of it when it's really frozen um, maybe even ice skate <laughs> Yeah, we made it down to the, the property. It only took about a half an hour to hike, hike the mile down. So, um, I, I don't know, for some reason I thought it was going to take like an hour and a half. Um, but that's not too bad. So yeah, we're going to shovel off the camper because there's some snow on it and it's got a flat roof and we don't want it to leak. So, we're going to do that. where where the the um you know the as you can see the well you might not be able to see one minute let me flip the camera around i guess i can't do that <laughs> so um you can kind of see right here the sun's being blocked um i'm gonna edit this out real quick <laughs> 